Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be painting grape hyacinth, one of my favorite spring flowers. This channel is all about learning how to paint flowers and botanicals. I'm starting off by transferring my drawing with tracing paper onto my watercolor paper. I'm tracing over the drawing that I refined in my sketchbook and then I um, scribbled some pencil on the back so that it would transfer onto the watercolor paper. This way I don't erase and damage my watercolor paper. Um, and then I'm going to start mixing colors. I'm using Daniel Smith and Windsor and Newton. I'm just making a bunch of mixes of different blues, purples, and pinks to get um, a variation of tones for the flowers. Choose whatever colors you have on hand and just make a nice combination. The same thing is what I'm going to do for the green. So three different tones of green. I've got sap green and olive green. That brighter green is a phthalo yellow green shade from Daniel Smith. And that's going to get me started for this painting. I'm starting off as I always do with my botanical paintings with my three-step painting method and the first part of this method is the wet and wet wash. This is where I get the majority of my painting and color built up and I wet the paper with clean water, make sure it's not puddly, and then I lightly drop in different mixes of all the colors I mixed up to create some beautiful tonal variation for my flowers and make sure that I leave highlights as well. For the first little bit of this painting, um, I apologize, sometimes my camera starts focusing on my hand rather than the painting. It's the autofocus feature I have on my Canon DSLR, so sometimes the autofocus is helpful, other times not so much. So it does get a little bit better further into the video, um, so just keep that in mind. And now just sit back and relax and watch how this painting comes together.
Now I have most of the flowers painted in with the first layer and I'm going to start adding in a little bit more green for the stems and the leaves. Again, the same method, wet and wet. And I am using my tiniest brush for most of this painting. I believe it's a double zero um, pointed Kalinsky sable brush. So it makes it easier to control um, the paint and color. So the smaller brush with a finer point is a good idea for this type of painting. And again, I'm using my three different shades of green, um, using the darker color where things might be in shadow or behind things. And I'm just going along, adding in the color. I'm not following the reference photo exactly. I'm just using it more for some inspiration. And so in this video, I'm going to take you through to show you all of the first layer of this painting. Um, I didn't actually get all of the footage for painting this. I painted this last spring um, and I'm not sure what happened, but I didn't have a dedicated painting space. So it was hard to film everything, but I thought you would enjoy seeing how the first layers come together as this is the majority of the painting and the time that it takes to paint this. Other than that, I would add a little bit of veining and then some wet on dry just to build up some darker areas of color. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every single week. Thank you so much for watching.